Welcome to Pemidaka, a platform to learn everything about piping design engineering. Visit pemidaka.com for latest updates and also support the Pemidaka YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel, click on the bell button so that you will get a notification of my post. You can refer the material to revise and improve your knowledge in piping design engineering. In this video, we will see what is pipe support. This material is especially made for beginners in piping design to understand the basics of the pipe supports. As I could see, most of the beginners who are coming to piping have a lack of knowledge about the pipe supports. So we are going to discuss more about the basics and the purpose of the pipe supports instead of going to the types and the applications of the pipe supports. So this video will be more useful for those who are beginners in piping uh, design industries. Let's get into the subject. The first thing to understand in pipe support is to know why pipe supports are required. Piping supports are used to ensure that the piping stay in place firmly in all severe conditions. Piping generally subjected to various severe conditions such as high temperature, high pressure, wind loads, seismic loads and vibrations and various other forces and loads. So these loads and forces can really cause serious damage to the piping system if it is not handled properly. So to protect the piping system, piping supports are provided. So piping supports are basically provided in order to safeguard the human life and to safeguard the infrastructure of the plant. What if the supports are not provided? What may happen if the pipe supports are not provided in the piping system? If piping is not supported properly, the unsupported portion of the piping tend to bend and which further causes a serious damage to the piping system. If a small piece of a piping gets damaged, it will put down the whole system in shutdown. So that may lead to a severe monetary loss and severe production loss. That's one of the reasons why all the piping support, all the portions of the piping and all part of the piping should be equally supported to ensure that the piping stay firmly and it will support uh, to uh, support the operations and the process conditions. If any part of piping is not supported, it will cause a huge bending and over a period of time, it may cause a serious damage to the pipe itself. Now let's see what happens if the supports are placed far apart. If pipe supports are placed far apart, the portion of the piping between the support tend to sag due to weight. In addition to that, along with the flow, the sagging portion of the piping tend to oxalate more and it will cause further damage to the pipes. What if to provide more supports in the piping system to avoid sagging? More supports are always unnecessary and increase the cost of the project. Distance between supports needs to be optimized in such a way to provide uh, now less number of supports and also to have zero sagging in the piping. Now let's understand what is support span. Support span is the distance between one support to another support. It is derived based on calculation for different sizes. Different sizes will have a different span length. So generally 2 inch and above pipe sizes will have a span of 6 meter and above. Every item in the piping system is designed with certain basis. Now we are going to see the basis of pipe supports on which it is designed for. Pipe supports are designed to handle certain loads and forces. The one of the major load is the weights of the whole system. That includes the weight of all piping components and fluids and insulations and loads such as wind loads, flow induced loads and seismic forces and loads due to thermal growth. And there are various other loads and uh, um, uh, forces upon uh, on which the piping supports are designed in order to safeguard the whole piping system. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for your time. Visit pemidaka.com for latest updates about the piping design engineering materials and also support the YouTube channel of the Pemidaka. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get a notification. When you get the notification, you can refer the material that will help you to revise your knowledge and to improve your knowledge in the piping design engineering.